The parallel pen kit is sold with the pen itself, a little nib cleaner, very thin piece of plastic that we'll look at later, and the ink cartridges. Although these are very convenient to use, the ink itself in these cartridges are very thin and very often will feather out or bleed out on some papers. If you're looking for color inks, the ones that I would suggest are made by Dr. P.H. Martin. They're hydrous. They come in a variety of colors. They're fairly opaque. They flow very nicely and they tend to be very crisp on most papers. They also have the added benefit of having a dropper, which will become important later on. We look at and see how we're going to fill the body of the parallel pen. In this video, I'll be using the Moon Palace Black Sumi ink. As far as I'm concerned, it's the very best black ink you can buy in a bottle, bar none. Great control of flow, very crisp. I want to show you today how you can refill the Pilot Parallel Pen by putting ink in the barrel instead of using the cartridge. When you first of all disassemble this pen, remove the cap, and then you remove the body of the pen here, and inside the body of the pen is where the cartridge had been. Now then, it's very convenient to have the ink as cartridges, uh, but the cartridge ink is very thin, and it often bleeds out or feathers out onto a lot of different papers. And so if you can upgrade the ink that you uh, put into it, you'll have a lot better time lettering in terms of crispness of letters on a variety of papers. So, uh, all we have to do is remove the empty, or somewhat empty, <laughs> uh, cartridge there. And then we're going to show you how you can disassemble the components of the front chamber here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, here's the front chamber of the Pilot Parallel Pen, and there are three parts to it. It's this semi-clear chamber here, and you can see the residue of the ink that had been in there, even though I just washed it out. And then you have the component right here where the ink goes through, and then the flat metal nib fits in there. And they provide you with this really thin plastic piece here that you can slip between the two plates of the broad-edged nib here. And coming at it right here, I think you can see how basically cleans it out. It's a good thing to do every once in a while. And so, once I've cleaned that out, I'll reassemble my unit here by putting the metal nib in here and then into the fairly clear chamber. And now we're ready to turn our attention to filling the body of the pen with ink instead of having the cartridge go in its traditional place and then putting it into the body of the pen we're just going to fill the body of this pen with ink let me show you how the black ink that I prefer most coming in a bottle all ready to use is Moon Palace Sumi just a terrific ink either her broad edged pen or pointed pen I don't think you can do better than this and what we're going to do is this. We'll set down the body of the pen. We're going to remove the cap here. And this has a convenient spout that I can pour the ink into this with. If you have a bottle of ink and it doesn't have a dropper or a spout, uh, you can use something like a pipette to do the work instead. Uh, the problem with that is once you plunge the pipette into the ink and then do your filling, then it's pretty much discolored. Uh, so if you're going to be using this just for the black, you can use one dedicated uh, pipette dedicated for the black ink. The pipettes are not that expensive anyways. But I'm going to pour the ink directly into the body of the uh, pen. 
pen. And to do that, of course, I'm going to have a lot of paper towels handy. And so I'm going to just estimate how much of this is being poured into it. And here I go. And I'll kind of underdo it so that it doesn't overflow once I put the top of my pen back on to the body. So here's my top of my pen, here's the body, and I simply screw it in. And it's very, very, very tight. It won't leak. It's good to go. Uh, in order to get uh, the ink flowing, what I'll generally do is I'll simply wet a paper towel like this, and then I'll press my pen onto it. Uh, best to shake the pen a little bit first, and then as gravity has its way, the wet towel pulls out the ink, and you should be ready to letter then with the body of your nib now full of ink. And so we have that, and we have this ready to go. And that's how you will fill the body of the Pilot Parallel Pen with ink. Happy lettering.